To access the Early Intervention Grant System, go to the DODD portal at dodd.ohio.gov. Enter your DODD username and password. Click the Applications tab at the top of the page. Select EIGS. You may need to disable pop-up blockers for the application to load. When you log into EIGS, you will first see the dashboard. It will show you your current budget, its status, and any work list items you may have. You can use the drop-down menus to select a previous year and see past budgets. Click View to see the new selection. The current budget is listed below. The budget status will begin as in progress. The budget we're looking at has been approved. You will also see the total budget amount. To edit the budget, click View. To enter data in the budget form, click on an empty field and enter the desired amount. Click outside the field or hit Enter to keep your changes. If a field has a lock symbol, the field is locked and data cannot be changed. To delete or change data in a field, click that field and hit Delete or enter a new amount. To save your progress and continue working, click Save. Clicking Save and Close will save your progress and exit the budget. Clicking Save will also update your budget amount automatically. To enter the amounts for the budget categories of personnel, contracts, and equipment, simply enter the value into the field. The process for indirect costs is different. First, enter the value. You will be prompted to select the federal rate or the modified total direct cost rate. Check the appropriate box to select the rate, and then enter your value to the right. Click Save to keep your progress. The process for other direct costs is different. To add other direct costs, click the plus button. This will add a line item below. If that line item already exists, you will receive an error. Before adding a new line item, click Save to be sure that your information is up to date. When you click the plus button, a new window will open. Select the line items category from the drop-down menu. We'll select training. Enter the amount. Click save and close. You will return to your budget. If you receive an error, Simply refresh the page. The new line item is now under the Other Direct Costs section. To change the amount of an item, click on the item and change the amount. To delete an item, change its amount to zero. Click Save and Close. The line item won't disappear, but the amount will be zero. When you click Save, the total for all line items is automatically updated. Click Save to keep your progress. When you finish entering your data, 
You can mark the budget as ready for review to allow your county certification supervisor to review and submit the budget. Scroll down. You will see the ready for review field and a key icon. Click on the field to change ready for review from no to yes. If the budget amount doesn't equal the allocation amount, you will receive an error. To fix this, return to the top of the budget to check the allocation and budget amounts. These values should match. Make any necessary changes and click Save to update the budget amount. Our values now match. Scroll down and change the Ready for Review field to Yes. At this time, the system will alert you that once marked Ready for Review, the budget will be locked and only a supervisor with the county certification role can make changes. Click OK. As a county certification user, your role is to review budgets and submit them to DODD for approval. The dashboard is similar to the county data user dashboard. This budget status is ready for review. Click View to see the desired budget. Now, you are able to review all fields of the budget. If you need to make an adjustment to a field, scroll down to the Ready for Review field and change the status from Yes to No. This puts the budget into the In Progress status. Click OK when prompted. The budget is now unlocked and you can make changes. Make sure to click Save to keep your changes. When finished, mark the budget as ready for review. Click OK. Before submitting the budget, you will have to upload supporting documents. All budgets require a program narrative budget summary and if you have selected an indirect cost amount, you will have to upload the appropriate attachment. For a federal rate, attach a PDF of the indirect cost approval letter. For a modified total direct cost rate, attach a completed Exhibit B of the grant agreement in an Excel spreadsheet format. To attach documents, the budget status must be in progress. Scroll down to the Ready for Review field and change the status from yes to no. Click Save. To attach a document, click Browse. Find and select your file and click Open. The attachment will be listed to the right. Click Save. Once all documents have been submitted, change the budget to Ready for Review. Click OK. Click Save. To submit the budget, scroll down and click the Submit button. If you are ready to submit the budget, click OK. The budget has been successfully submitted. This status is now submitted and is waiting for DODD approval. Click Save and Close to return to the dashboard. You can see the budget and track progress from there.